I am Human Sadiq. I am from Syria. I was born and raised in Aleppo city. My brother was a student in university, Aleppo University. For us, me and him, we have uh, our father, he is, uh, he is disabled. <laughs> So for us, we were not able to go to the protest at the same time because if we, both of us got arrested or got injured, then nobody is available to look after our family. So we were like, what time I go, what time he goes. So in that time, it was still there. So he goes to the protest. He went there and the regime started shooting on the protest. So one guy, he got injured on the floor. But he went to help him and everyone just ran away. You can see it's so clear in the video. So he ran to help him and they shot him. One of the, his friends was filming it. My friend, he has his younger brother, he lost both legs because of barrel bomb. So I wanted to learn, so now I am working as a prosthetic limb technician. It's so hard to work and study in this situation because many times we have to leave uh, our books or for example, I'm studying by laptop, I leave it and run away because of the bombing has started. Sala, sala, sala. We just heard the, the bomb next to us. Of course, we saw ourselves down and, and then it explode. War in Syria, there is no rules for it. So many times they bomb a hospital. One month they bombed four hospitals in my area. So it's so dangerous for, uh, for anyone to be working inside uh, this conflict area. <laughs> Hello, my name is Mabrikay Siddiqui. Uh, I am I am from Afghanistan. I am living in Kabul. of the person with disability uh, day by day increase in Afghanistan due to war and the number of the female piano in Afghanistan is very less so I choose to work in this profession to uh, help with a woman with disability and um, and to, to provide service for uh, them hi everyone and uh, good morning I'm Louise Pillai and I'm a prosthetist and orthotist I actually came across human study whilst I was working in Tanzania and I could just see the huge need for prosthetists and orthotists in developing countries. 
all the student needs to participate is an internet connection and they can log in and they do their education via the internet. My name is Abdul Qadir. My name is Hiba Bashir. I'm Salah Al Akbar. Hello, my name is Faris Salha. Hi everyone, uh, my name is Zab Nola. Can you think of any treatment we could provide these patients uh, to help them with their pain? On a daily basis, we use different methods like WhatsApp or Viber, um, Skype sometimes for them to send me real-time information about what's happening. And if, if the time difference allows for it, we'll, we'll have a real live conversation about what is going on with their patient at the time and give them advice about what, what I think they should do or ask them what they think they should do and, and discuss the options for that patient with them. Any questions about mixing plaster? How thick do you need it to be? How thick? That's a great question because if you make your plaster mould too thin... You it's all the same process actually everywhere in the world at the moment. Um, we're all using plaster, we're all aligning our cast to build a leg that, that fits that patient individually. It's so, so important. I mean, people's personal image of themselves, their body image, their self-worth often revolves around having all the pieces that they need. And often people find it really difficult to find employment, uh, even to enter education if they have a, a disability or impairment. Um, so in helping these patients to get back into the community and functioning as they once were is, is the most powerful thing you can do. And I hope that never happen again to a person to need for artificial limb or for any kind of device. And that is my hope for my country, my country without attack, without any war. We have a lot of patients and they are on increasing every single day. We don't have enough material and we don't have uh, enough technicians. Knowledge is power. It improves life. For my country, Afghanistan, and for children who really suffer from the conflict, I hope every child be free from disability, war victims, violence, and my wish to empower them to have a better life. Thank you very much from you, from your audience.